All right, let's take a look at uh, the different types of interpolations available with F-curves. I've created just a quick animation of a cube that rotates around. Click on the cube, you'll see the path that it's following. Um, so one thing I want you to pay attention to is that when it gets to each of these points in space, there's an obvious change in direction, an obvious change in rotation. It slows a little bit as it gets there. It's not a completely smooth motion and it stops at the end. So there's a little bit of easing in and ease in and out at each point. Let's take a look at our F curves for our object. Uh, and you'll notice I only have keyframes on position and rotation. Uh, there's a position on, but there are keyframes on the uh, Y, X and Y positions and the heading of rotation. Okay. And you'll see under rotation we're going from 0 to 360. I can actually move that up so it's exactly 360. Close enough. And actually looking at this F curve you'll notice that there is a sort of a little bit of a jump between each of these. It's not a perfectly in line thing. So how can we fix this? Well we can think about uh, changing the interpolation settings of our F curves. So if, I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag around all of our nodes and um, under key you've got different types. Okay, So you can do a linear. That's a completely straight linear connection. You notice it makes a perfectly straight line. What does that do? Okay, I think you'll notice you'll notice that the rotation on its own right now. If you don't look at the um, actual path of motion, but if you look at only the rotation, the rotation right now is very steady. It starts and stops at exactly zero and 360, and there is no variation in between there. So let's try that same setting on the position. Scale this down so we can see our curves. And what happens if we make this linear? So now we've got very straight line connections between each motion. So I'll go ahead and drag this. Now you notice you can actually see the path on the screen. It's very uh, straight, stops at each point, very abrupt motion. So that's one method of connecting. Let's try step. Let's see what that does. So step, you can see, it goes from one. It carries the initial point until it gets to the next one and automatically or abruptly changes at that point only. So you'll get our object popping in space as it's rotating. Let's try spline. Now spline is what we were on initially. But uh, you'll notice because we changed it to spline after the initial step, it's much more smooth now. Now you've also got uh, zero angle. Uh, what that will do, and you've got auto, tan auto tangents is what it's on right now. So a tangent is it's looking at the direction of the curve before and after, and it's trying to figure out an automatic um, direction of these handles so that it's a smooth continuance. Um, if we turned it on break tangents, now we can drag, I can select a point and I can change only one side. I'll undo that. You'll notice now if I drag one point it changes both sides. Uh, but under break tangents it allows you to drag each side evenly. Selecting all the curves zero angle, that makes uh, each one start and stop at a horizontal angle. So notice what that does. It's sort of like the square, except it eases to each point. It's not it, it's easing, in, easing in and out at each point rather than uh, continuing smoothly. Zero length is the same thing as linear. It completely removes the handles. 
lock tangent angles. Um, let's turn these off. Put it back on auto tangents. If you lock tangent angles, now I can't, ch uh, I can't move the angles. I can change it in and out. I can change the time on, an ang on a point, but I can't change the angle up and down. So it's locked in the angle. And lock tangent lengths. Uh, if I turn off lock tangent angles, now I can change the uh, I put it back on auto. Now I can lock tangent length. Okay. Now I can change the angle, but I can't change the length. So if you want to constrain yourself like that, that'll be one way to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on auto tangents and uh, remove all the locks. So now we've got pretty smooth animation and I can adjust all of these and fine tune things if I like. So a little bit on different types of F-curve interpolations.